What's up everyone, it's the Big Boss Dog, and today we're playing Plague Inc. Evolved, and you know why. I can't tell you why, because the last video I told you why, and it got demonetized. Yes, I, uh, I already recorded three episodes for this series for the Plague Inc. thing, and all of them got demonetized before I could upload them. So for those of you wondering why I spelled a certain word in the last video with a K instead of a C, now you know. Now, I'm going to try to make this as true to the actual thing as I can, okay? We're going to start off with the virus, and then if this gets some good uh, good views, some good likes, we might play nanovirus and uh, buy a weapon too, because I know there's some conspiracy theories out there. But until then, we're just going to play virus. As for the genetic code, um, hmm, I think we're going to put on metabolic jump. No, I think we're going to put on... Uh, Genetic Mimic seems to make sense because the real world equivalent is pretty hard to cure. I know it's airborne, so we'll keep that on. We'll, uh, we'll go for a minor bonus in all environments, why not? And we're gonna go with Ionized Helix, just because I don't want it to be easier to cure. Makes sense to me. Okay, well, first we're gonna play it on casual, right? Not because I'm a new player, I mean, obviously, right? I I've played this game maybe once or twice, but... We're going to hop on casual to see what would happen, how this virus would spread, if no one washed their hands, research doctors don't work, and sick people were given hugs. Okay, we already got the name in there. And welcome to Plague Inc. Uh, we're going to start it right, uh, right over here in a certain spot, just for, uh, just for no particular reason. And let's see how it goes. Now, for those of you that haven't played this game, here's how it works. You infect the country, you get points, right? In the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, you can see it says DNA, and that's what we're going to use to spend. So, you got overview here, which kind of tells you the evolution, history, the trend, statistics, stuff like that. And then you got transmissions. So, we're going to focus on transmissions first. We're going to make it airborne and waterborne, because I believe the real-life equivalent is. Then over here, we have the symptoms, such as coughing, nausea, insomnia rash all that good stuff and then over here are certain abilities like cold resistance heat resistance certain kind of resistance and then viral instability so we'll see what we evolve as time goes on now the point of this video is to kind of simulate what would happen if uh if no one washed their hands if we were all very lackadaisical about um well about hygiene right and i'm gonna try to be as accurate as possible to the real world equivalent however we are gonna have to um make some assumptions right like i can't control where it spreads first um if we need to get total organ failure we need to get total organ failure but i will say um this game is pretty accurate it's a pretty fun game and we're just gonna kind of see what happens and again this is the easiest difficulty right this is what would happen if no one took care of themselves it looks like everyone knows a minor disease is spreading so we're gonna get extreme bio aerosol we're gonna unlock sneezing right just to make it spread a little bit faster China starts to work on cure. Might be too late. Honestly, it might already be too late just because of how fast this thing is. And uh, you can see in the top, oh, you can see in the top right corner uh, exactly how long it's been, right? Uh, that's a pretty funny pop up. I'm not gonna lie. And and then in the bottom right corner, um, you can see exactly how far long the cure is. And I would say that's a it's a pretty accurate cure rate, you know, for the for the real world counterpart because nobody knows what's going on. <laughs> and right here, if you press Y, you can check um, which countries are still healthy and which countries are not. So as you can see, we have a lot of hotter areas and uh, Greenland. So I think since Greenland's well, relatively wealthy, we're gonna unlock drug resistance. And then we're also gonna get heat resistance just to help it spread in Africa a little bit quicker. Cis mutated, that's fine. It'll help to spread. Oh, there it goes. Yep, we got Greenland. That's very good. I think we almost have most places, honestly. And, and sorry if I'm sniffing a lot. I'm, I'm kind of feeling under the weather. Don't read into that too much. Okay, all the healthy places are gone. Let's start stopping the cure first. Um... And then we are going to unlock paralysis and coma, just to make it a little bit lethal, but not too lethal. And now we're going to go get insomnia, paranoia, seizures, and eventually insanity. 
And the reason why, watch what happens when I hit play. Look at the uh, the world cure percentage. Boom, drop down. So the faster you get that thing to drop, the better. You want to keep it down, kick it down. As long as it doesn't get cured too fast, you're going to be good. And it's going to keep mutating too. As you can see, it mutated pneumonia, systemic infection, all that good stuff. Pneumonia's up here. So yeah. That's not true. That pop applied to us. People in Greenland, everybody's infected. I don't think there's any healthy people left. We're a very small population. Yep, no more healthy people left. So now what we want to do is start upgrading to more lethal things. So... Total organ failure costs 35 points. We're going to wait on that. Oh, um, you get DNA for popping the red and orange bubbles. I don't know if I told you that. And then every time you pop a blue bubble, it slows down the cure a little bit. Now, this is the, the worst part of the game, in my opinion, is just kind of waiting, hoping you get good mutations. Dysentery is a good one to get. It's pretty fatal, but you really just kind of have to sit around and wait for people to, uh, to pass so you can get more points. There we go. Total organ failure, and now we should stop the cure before it gets to 35%. So the goal of this game, the way you win, is to eliminate, eliminate all life on planet Earth. It's pretty terrifying stuff. It's honestly a pretty scary game, kind of morbid once you uh, once you think about it. But what are you gonna do? I'm quarantined. This is how I make my money now. Internal hemorrhaging is a great thing to have mutate on its own. I'll tell you that much. It looks like, uh, looks like we won. <laughs> oh, jeez, what a sick game. Boom, just like that. Successfully eliminated all life on Earth. <laughs> no, seriously, don't let it freak you out, though. I, I know there's, uh, probably some people that are watching my channel that might get freaked out by this kind of thing, but don't worry about it. It's not that serious. This is what would happen if nobody washed their hands, if doctors didn't work, right? This is this is a pretty ridiculous circumstance here. This is not what's going to happen in real life. But yeah, look at that. Look how fast that spreads. And uh, this is a relatively accurate simulator from what I've read. I've read a few articles, I think. It, it was either um, about the CDC or the WHO. But they were talking about how this game is a good uh, good indicator of what could actually happen and uh, a good inspiration for people to wash their hands and take extra precautions in times like this. All right, that didn't take very long, so we're going to hop into virus again. We're going to keep that same stuff going. And now we're going to go on to normal. Now, this is closer to a real-world simulation than casual, right? Obviously, people wash their hands. Obviously, doctors work. Obviously, we don't hug sick people. But on normal, 67.3% of people wash their hands. Doctors work three days a week from zero, right? That's pretty good. And sick people are ignored. I, I would say that's more accurate. That's, that's pretty accurate to real life. So we're going to go on normal, keep the name. We're going to go again. We're going to get the same spot in the same country for the same reason. Okay, here we go. And also, I'm going to try to show the pop-ups as long as I can before I get bored, but you you, uh, you want to pay attention to these things in the middle sometimes. Not all the times. I mean, sometimes it's pretty useless stuff, but it'll have interesting tidbits and things that you're going to need for the future of the game. So, like, I don't know if you noticed, but the last game, I accidentally bought tumors, and one of the pop-ups said that scientists have a better understanding of tumors. So by getting that upgrade, I actually made my disease um, more curable. But yeah, we're going to kind of stick to the same formula here. We're going to get pretty much the same stuff. It's just a harder difficulty. Because, I, I mean, with the symptoms, yeah, I'm playing around with it. Viruses in real life mutate a lot, and we don't know what our real one's going to mutate into. It's probably going to be closer to the top branch, though. But um, as far as stuff goes, like how it's transferred by blood, by air, by water. Oh, wow, that's a lot of bubbles. Um, we're going to try to keep some of that stuff very similar. We're going to try to keep the uh, the transmissions and the symptoms, or not the symptoms, the transmissions and the abilities as close to the real life counterpart as we can. New minor disease spreading. Okay, we were found out. Let's unlock our coughing and sneezing because we know that uh, you know what does that to you. And again, don't forget the reason why I'm not saying the name is because I said the name the past three episodes that you guys aren't going to see and they all got demonetized. YouTube is really not playing about that kind of stuff right now. I don't know why, but they're not. You know, my hands are kind of tied here. Trust me, I'm not happy about it neither. Um, I wanted to put out a video yesterday, but like I said, it got taken down. So. Or I didn't get taken down, but it got demonetized. So we got to do this.
This is spreading really, really fast. Peru, Peru, Bolivia, Iceland, Morocco, West Africa. Uh, looks like hot countries again. Okay, so the real world counterpart is transmit uh, can be transmitted through blood, I believe. And I do believe it can transfer in hotter climates. We're gonna unlock some of that stuff, and we're gonna keep it moving. Wow, the second I unlocked that, the second I unlocked that, <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, two more countries to go and we can start upgrading crazy stuff. I don't believe that. It's killing faster in the US and they're being infected. No, it's not. See, this is why you gotta check these things. Sometimes it's uh, it's full of malarkey. Malarkey, I tells you. Where Where's Morocco? Oh, it's just a matter of time. Morocco's gonna get infected right away. I'll give it five, ten days. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep. The cure is moving along. Um, we're going to go ahead and get insomnia, paranoia, inflammation, seizures, paralysis, and coma. Give us a little, little lethality boost. And then we're going to start getting genetic hardening, and we're going to shuffle it all the way back down to 14. That should, uh, that should do the trick. I'm just waiting for people to kind of get a little bit more infected, right? I, I don't want it to, to kill too... F whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. We do not want that. We do not want that. No. Do not want that at all. That is going to make us lose the game. Let's see. How's Morocco doing? That's fine. How's Greenland doing? It's taking a while to get Greenland going, but... Rash is going to help with that. That's perfect. That's all we need. So it's going to give us Rash, then we'll get uh, seizures and insanity. And that'll bump the cure back down a little bit. U.S. President takes ill. Bye, Daddy Trump. Terrible. 100% lethal in humans. <laughs> That's not good. Well, I mean, good for us, bad for them. Walking Dead symptom combo. Man, this game is brutal. I'm very, very concerned about Greenland right now. I really hope this, uh... Oh, no, it's killing too fast in Greenland. It's killing far too fast. What what, what do we have here that's really lethal? Tumors, let's get that out of here. Systemic infection, let's get that out of here. Immune suppression, let's get that out of here. Let's get this out of here, too. That should... That should help us. That should help us infect more people. Okay, the infected rate looks like it's kind of going up. No, I don't need dysentery right now. I do not need that. Oh my goodness, this is a little bit too close for comfort. I didn't even check on Iceland. Hopefully it keeps going up. Oh, it's going down. Why? Why is it going down? What do I... Okay, okay. Um, we'll get cold. What else do we have here? It's, that's too lethal. Paralysis inflammation. Pneumonia. Fever. Fever's pretty lethal. We, we don't need that. Okay. Let's hope this does something. No, come on, Iceland. Come on, Iceland. You know you want to. You know you want to live. You know you want to. Where's Greenland at? Iceland bombs infected cities. Wow. <laughs> wow, okay. Iceland just does not care at all. Hmm. What, what else can I do here? Let's try skin lesions. Let's let's try skin lesions right now. See what that does. Profuse bleeding symptom combo. I don't know if that's good or not. No, it's it's not. There we go. There we go. Necrosis. Necrosis was the key. Look at that. Infected is rising. There we go. If we can keep getting infected to rise in Iceland, we're gonna be all right. I really thought we weren't gonna um we weren't gonna make that. But infected rates are rising. 
Let's see. I think uh, Bolivia, Greenland, Iceland, Iran. Let's check Iran. Iran. Okay, if we're gonna get Iran, we're gonna get Bolivia. Oh yeah, we got Bolivia. Oh, we got we got them. We got all the healthy people. Sweet. Man, what a close game though. I was I was playing that a little too fast and too loose. I don't know. Man, Greenland, Greenland and Iceland usually almost get me. I I don't know why people complain about Madagascar. That's pretty easy to infect, in my opinion. I mean, look how many ships go to it, right? That's what those dotted lines are. Those are ships. So, never had a problem with Madagascar. It was a very close game, though. That was a very, very, very close game. Get those bonus points going. Necrosis seems to be the way to go, though. Yep. What did we get? Three stars. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'll, I'll take that. I will take that. Yep, we got it. All right. Okay, well, um, you know, that'll probably do it for this episode. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for the support. And also, thank you so much for watching the previous video. It was my strongest opening ever. I'm sorry I was gone for so long, but you know how real life happens. But I'm back now for the, uh, for the quarantine time and hopefully for a while after that. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace. Fantasize about